So at the moment, you're probably saying, well, this isn't anything new. We've seen this kind of thing before in Portal and all those other first-person puzzlers. Well, things are going to get a little bit weirder now as we enter this kind of nexus. And this is where it definitely starts looking like an MC Escher drawing. How's it going guys? John here from the Killer Bits and today we are checking out something called Fragments of Euclid and this is a pay what you like title in fact from over on itch.io um, as you can see there nusan.itch.io uh, the developer's name is actually Antoine Zanantini I think it's how it's pronounced I use actually a programmer over at Don't Nod and this is kind of like a little well, he, he classes it as a Unity prototype that he's, he's done in his own time. And it's a very, very clever first-person puzzler, very much in the style of something like Portal. I mean, even down to kind of... Well, you, you'll see as we get into it. But it's all in this kind of very MC Escher world, so gravity is flipped on its head, and it's... It, I mean, it's easier to show you, so we can jump into a new game. I have played this through already, so the, the game only takes about maybe 45 minutes an hour at most but it's very very clever it's essentially four main puzzles and as you can see here it's got this kind of very stunning art style I mean the um, it does feel like we're in a MC Escher drawing uh, especially with this kind of pencil stroke type effect though this is probably not the best thing for YouTube because if I was to do this this is probably kind of pixelating like crazy so what we will actually do is we will reset that to something that actually will play on YouTube a bit better so we'll just go with noise because I think I found that worked the best so obviously it's not as nice looking without the pencil slashes and that but it at least it will actually look better on YouTube so yes, we are in this MC Escher world, and we can wander around, get our bearings, and we'll head up these stairs here. I think we'll go up this direction, yes, yep, I think I remember where we're going. And it's this direction, no, nope, this way, yes, right. So, oh, jump over there, and in, in we go, there we go, yes. Come on, come on, fall through, there we go. So this is the basic tutorial, and this is where I say it gets a very kind of portal. We have these buttons, which are obviously, as you can see up there, there's a gate blocking a door. Well, we're not going to be able to do anything about that unless we get our friendly weighted companion cube. Yes, so we pick this guy up. Um, one nice thing I, I do like is when it's in your hand, it will clip through stuff. And we can't drop it when it's, you know, like that, but... As soon as it's in like a, an area where you can drop, it will go solid, like so. And as you can see, that's opened up there, and it's actually opened up this bit. So, as you can see, we're actually up on the roof now. So, like the MC Escher drawings you probably know, this plays with gravity and all that kind of thing. So, obviously that's a button, um, but we're going to need a cube for it. So let's go and grab this. That's obviously the gate we need to get through. So how are we going to get this cube up there? Well, everything is not quite as it seems. So obviously we need to get it there. We need to get that there. Well, uh, if I can remember rightly, uh, we need to find a way to drop down. And there it is. Whee! There we go. So we've we've just dropped through the world and we can drop our button there on the button. And now we should be able to go through this door. And this is kind of like the entrance hall to the main puzzle. And we need to get through this grate. You'll have to search for a way to open the gate. Okay then, well, let's head up these stairs. So at the moment, you're probably saying, well, this isn't anything 
no, we've seen this kind of thing before in Portal and all those other first-person puzzlers. Well, things are going to get a little bit weirder now as we enter this kind of nexus. And this is where it definitely starts looking like an MC Escher drawing. So here we go. We are surrounded by puzzles. And as you can see, there's more button puzzles. There's, there's a weird puzzle over there. In fact, everything surrounding us is a puzzle. And we need to unlock all four of these to actually unlock the gate. As I've played it before, I reckon we should be able to do at least one or two of the puzzles. Maybe all of them. Uh, but this is the, the, the first puzzle you tend to come across. I mean, you can do them in any order you want to. But this is the one that kind of really stumped me at first. You have to kind of switch your brain and uh, actually work out where do we need to go in that. So as we can see here, we've got gates, we've got buttons. So that gate is locked to that button there. Those are all kind of interconnected. And well, the only place we can really go is this direction. And as you'd imagine, this opens that gate there. So I thought, well, how are we gonna do that? I mean, what we can do though is drop through here. And as you can see, that will send us all the way down here the only problem is okay well what do we do next well we can go down here and put the box on here if i want to drop there we go but now what do we do there's no way out so this is where you have to start working out okay well we need to kind of trigger different things so what we can do we can hit r on the keyboard and which will reset everything and this is how you're actually supposed to do it so thankfully there's like a little set, set of steps here and if we just kind of position it just right our box will fall we'll open that bit and not quite okay well reset this this takes a couple of attempts just because of the physics so let's drop go on hopefully it will go this time uh, not quite okay third time's a charm this, there probably is an ideal position that will do it first time out maybe if we just put a slight angle on it make it give it a bit of a bounce oh 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 there we go and we've got the button push so now we can go back this direction and ta-da we can get through now, obviously, we can go all the way over here, and we're in this section, and we've got more buttons to push. The only problem is we've not got a block, so what we need to do is actually head back here, and go and grab, there you go, because we don't need that gate open anymore. And what we want to do is, well, I mean, you can see here, we can't get through this, this is not part of the puzzle at the moment so the only place we can go is through here and as you can see there's a gate in the way well unsurprisingly if we look up there that's that's where it's going to come through because if we hit that button that goes there so we know from past experience what we want to do is kind of that get it in line and it should just rest on the gate there and boink there we go and that's the puzzle solved and we flick a big switch and that's one of the triggers for the gate and now all we need to do is find our way out of here so we know that's where we came in because the the tiled floor is always the floor in this that's that's how you orientate yourself so that's one puzzle down and as i said that was the trickiest one i found everything after that your head is in kind of the right place so how do we get to these other puzzles well we have to use this kind of very weird wacky system of getting to the other puzzles so literally we just throw ourselves off here and each of the kind of passageways I suppose is indicated by these signs so let's do the that yeah we'll do this one so we need to go this direction and it's up here yeah we need to look for this main 
uh, pathway. Uh, there we go. There we go. So it's the, the arrows one, which is going to lead us to this one, which... Yeah, this is a, a reasonably decent one to do. So if we head over here. Now, some of you may notice this isn't the only kind of Escher first person puzzler that there is in the works. I mean, obviously, this is this is a complete game. Um, it's only a very short game, but it's it, it is a game. It's not a pr prototype, I'd say it's, it's it is a full game. And as you saw, the the the, the title for this room was Run. So as you can imagine, we've got to run somewhere. Well, this is obviously a gate. It's got switches. We'll follow the, the wire back. And it goes all the way there, all the way there. Basically, the switch goes to this. Here. Now, if we just put it there, we're not going to get very far because... Oh, right. But you can see the second gate is open. So we need to basically do a long drawn out throw of this thing and thankfully we've got this long tunnel here so if we can time this right we'll drop and run 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 ah uh, no we screwed up is there a better way that is that's that's also a way yeah so that that was my fault i, I went the wrong direction apologies there we go. Right, now we'll run. Okay. Run, 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 run. Quick, quick, quick. And we're through. There we go. Just in time. And now we're into a, a second room. And this was called the meeting, I think it is. So, well, we have a box. We have a button. Let's put the but box on the button. And it opens up this gate, which actually leads us back here. So, obviously good game design we're never going to leave something which we can possibly use so as you can probably see well we've got these weird doors here which all lead up to this so as you can imagine yep yeah, there's our button so the those doors go through there lead up there so how are we going to do this well if we were to try and do this ourselves, if we did that, say, we can see it should fall through. Oh, that's not going to help. So what we need to do is we'll reset. Grab that. Grab that. Go and get the other box. So as I said, this is really nice level design. Um, Admittedly, that, as I said, that first puzzle had me stumped for a good 15, 20 minutes. But as soon as I got my head in gear for how we were supposed to approach these puzzles, everything else kind of came very naturally. So we put that one on there, this one on here, and let's get us a nice shot of this. So as you can imagine, we've got to get both of them to meet at the same place. Douche. There we go. And that's opened up our gate. So very simple, but yet very clever. And go on. Activate the laser. And there we go. So I was saying, this isn't the only kind of first person puzzler using this kind of idea of MC Escher. We also have Manifold Garden coming out relatively soon at some point this year I think uh, which is being made by what is it William Chire and I actually saw that he's actually done a uh, did a twitch stream of this and he was actually praising the, its design and that and picking out saying he's actually done this better than me uh, in certain points I think he was especially picking up on uh the way he's done the kind of transitions through these portals. He said it's really clever and we can just about see ourselves. We're that kind of weird, well, you probably can't see it on the YouTube video, but we're kind of like the squiddy type character. But let, we'll probably get a closer look at ourselves on this level. So let's head up 
onto the pathway. And here we go. We should be on a different level this time. Yeah, it's this one which will lead into the tower. And this one, yeah, we will definitely get to see what we look like in this one. So here we are. Woo. Woo. We're some weird squid. So this one, it's all a Hall of Mirrors type idea, but every window isn't quite the same as you can see there. Well, there's no box, there's no box. There is a box. Ah, so we have to kind of remember which mirrors we go through. So it was the third one. So let's go through the third one. Now we need to look for a switch. Well, no switches, no switches. Ah, now we can see a switch, and that's door number four. Go through door number four, put the box down, and we should be able to... There we go! And that's, as I said, that, that, that was one of the simpler ones. Now, things get very trippy. So, well, we can see, well, there's nothing in that direction. There's us, there's that. That's the way out, but no, that's the way out. So we know each window isn't quite the same. And this is the tower, so I think it's just a case of we've got to try and find a way up. Well, that's back down. That's definitely back down. Let's go this way then. And this one, admittedly, was a, a bit more kind of trial and error. Try and find a route up. I think it's basically just keep heading for... Now that's going down. Uh, there is probably a right pattern for this. And. There, ah! Now that's what we're aiming for. You can just about see it pop in. And uh, we've made it all the way up to the top of the tower. Yes, very high now. But we need to hit the lever. So as I said, this is very clever, and I, I never actually tried the suicide jump last time. Does this work? Yes. So that was the quick way out. So as I said, that was a very quick one. That first puzzle is always the, the most difficult, I think, because that's what you need to kind of actually train your brain to actually do this. And this, in theory, then should be the last level. So it's a lot simpler once you've done it already. Uh, and are we on the right one? Yes, last level. So, I mean, this is probably spoilers. I'm going to complete this in the next five minutes. So I, I will put a, a message at the start of the game if you don't want this spoiled. But it's, it's a very clever design. I'd like to see this kind of built into more of a game if possible because the design is very nice and it, it definitely makes me look forward to something like um, Manifold Garden when it comes out so yeah we've got lots of boxes what can we do through here ah so it's got this grid thing we know we can pass the boxes through that but if we go through it it's going to reset everything so let's grab a box and head up here instead and as we can see there's a gate but thankfully oh, let's get this lined up and that should Whee! and do that right let's go and grab our next box so as I said again this is a relatively straightforward one well at least this this first part of the puzzle is uh, and I think the fact that it's called something like gravity bridge probably gives you an idea of what sort of thing you're supposed to do there we go yeah that's the next one down and the last box and through the final window Ooh. let's get this lined up properly there we go and skadoosh so you can probably guess what we have to do now conveniently place blocks well yes of course now uh, it's all about the jumping puzzles which I'm crap at 
especially in first person. Let's, come on. And oh, caught on the arm of the staircase. Ready. And final one. Okay, so we have a button there, we have a door there. Well, that's not going to be a lot of help for us. But thankfully, we have it this here. So let's grab that. We can place that there and get out that door now, which is right here. So now what do we do? Well, now we need... I it, Admittedly, it took me, you know, a good few minutes to work out where we had to go next until I looked up. There just happens to be a staircase in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, so we're going to have to get up there. So, well, we, we've discovered platforming and we know well these were platforms for us before so why can't there be platform for us again and if we kind of build ourselves like a little staircase up to that so as I said it is very simple design but very clever design and conveniently the wires kind of give you an indication well maybe if we do it this way build ourselves a little staircase. Very, very clever design, as I said. Let's put our next step in there. And one last one. Goes uh, 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 there. And now we should be able to alley up. Alley up. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, there we go. And we've got the final laser. Come on, freaking lasers. There we go, and the gate is open. So it says, it, it's a very cool little puzzle and we should be able to, uh, there we go. Make our way out of here. And head to the main gate. If we can kind of orientate ourselves right. So we should, I think our best bet is to head down here, go through this one, oh, go on, if we don't get stuck. Uh, there we go. There we go, and this should lead us back to, yeah, yeah, there we go, that's the, what we came through. Uh, there we go, there we go, yes. Now we get to see what's on the other side of the gate. Whee! Euclid. What were our fragments of? So here we get to find out what's behind the mirror. Oh, it's us again. Weird squiddy things. Oh, oh. It's, I, I have no idea, it's a squid, well an octopus with a human face. We finally meet you clever one, I am Euclid. So I thought this was going to be a fun little one to share with you guys, to be continued, so hopefully we do get to see more of it, and as, as you can see here, made by Antoine Z Zanutini, uh, who's Nusan, as I said, on both Twitter and on Itch.io, which you can try this out for yourself. Yeah, as I said, this is really getting me excited for kind of first person puzzlers again, and I'm looking forward to something like Manifold Garden when it comes out, and hopefully get to play more of this if it is indeed to be continued but if you enjoyed this obviously you know what you can do you can hit that like button and if you want to find out more information about this game i will leave a link in the description below and if you want to see more of these kind of first impressions let's plays all the fun stuff we do here on the channel why not consider subscribing and you can get in touch in the comments or on any of the socials over at the killer bits until next time guys bye